Good afternoon, traders, and welcome to this week's Forex Focus, our first one of 2017. I hope you all had a wonderful festive period. Um, sorry we were a little bit quiet over the Christmas period, but to be honest with you, I had the, the dreaded man flu, which completely took me out from about the middle of December up until the 3rd or 4th of January, somewhere around that time. Um, I was literally struggling to get out of bed and taking all of the different types of flu and cold medicines that you can imagine, none of it worked. Um, and hence, obviously, we weren't online throughout the Christmas period. But I, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope um, Father Christmas was kind to you and you're ready and raring to go for 2017. In this week's Forex Focus, we've got some a nice opportunity. Um, well, we've got a couple of opportunities that we're going to look at in the pound pairs. I don't know if you recall back to sort of, I think it's probably the end of November, beginning of December, we were talking about shortening the pound. Unfortunately, the pound was very, very resilient and literally did not drop throughout the whole of December. It just kind of went sideways. Anyway, coming into um, January, where we are now, the pound has um, eventually started to weaken. We talked about going short the pound CAD in the money file that we put out last week. That's now currently short and in profit, which is lovely. Um, if you missed that, don't worry, we've got other opportunities that we're looking at this week. So without further ado, let's jump over to the charts and talk about the opportunities that could be presenting themselves in the FX markets. So we'll start off by looking at the pound CAD, just because this will give you a little bit of an idea as to what it is that we're actually looking for. Um, this is the one that we talked about in the money file last week. Ultimately, the, the market had obviously pulled back, as you can see here. It then gone sideways for quite a significant period of time before eventually breaking um, beneath this level here, which is where we initiated our shorts. Um, with a stop above the highs there. So that's what the the pound CAD looks like. As I said, you know, it was a, a great opportunity. We're targeting the lows here. So if we can get down to there, we will be very happy bunnies. Um, but this week, if you did miss the pound CAD, this week there are other opportunities that look very, very similar to this one. Um, and we'll start off by looking at the one in the pound Aussie. The pound Aussie, as you can see, is, is pretty much a carbon copy of the pound CAD in the way that there's a, there's been a big, big downtrend there. The market broke structure around here. It broke structure, well, two. So support here, support here. It broke there. It then gave us a nice orderly pullback to around the 100 moving average. Um, it's now looking like it's going to go short. So we're very, very optimistic about this trade here. We love it when the markets kind of, they pull back to that 100 moving aver average. We're not saying that the markets bounce because it's at the moving average, you know, because there's that line there. We're not saying that at all. But, you know, the, the, the markets, they have to go through a sort of price acceptance phase. So after every significant move, there's going to be a pullback. And the 100 moving average just seems to indicate when those moves are over. Um, so now the market, as I said, it, it's reacted to this level here. It's now breaking down. If we can get a break below this level tonight, um, being Sunday, then we will start to initiate short set. If we can hold beneath that level, then we will definitely be adding to our shorts on the pound Aussie there. Um, the targets will obviously be the low and the stops will be somewhere above here on the highs. Looking at the um, sorry, the pound CAD we've already talked about. The next one is the pound New Zealand, which is pretty much very, very similar to the pound Aussie, although we're not quite at the lows there. But similar to the pound Aussie, if we can get a break belief this low here at around the one spot seven four seventy area, then we will be also initiating shorts on the pound New Zealand. It's as I said, it's pretty much exactly the same trade as we just spoke about on the on the pound Aussie. So again, we'll be targeting the lows there, stops above the highs. The final one that we're looking at is um, it's a bit of a tricky one because we're actually already long this pair. We think that the pound yen is ultimately going to appreciate in 2017. Um, hence, we initiated a, a long here, um, but the market now looks like it's going to be rolling over. Um, and from that perspective, if we do get a close beneath this level here, then I'll definitely um, be stopping myself out of this long position and initiating a short there of a stop above that high. Definitely, I probably will even give it a bit more room and put it above these highs over here. Um, and then from a target perspective... 
if we look at this on the daily, the first place we need to keep an eye out for is around this area here at the 138.30 level. But if we can break beneath that level there, then really the next stopping point is all the way down here at around the 130 level. So some nice potential for some big profits on that trade there. I don't personally think it will get down as low as this. I think that the market will, as I said, at least for the first part of 2017, it will continue up here. Um, so I'm kind of anticipating a move de down towards a 100 moving average towards this previous resistance become support. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got um, a lot of good value out of it. As always, remember these are for educational purposes only. We're not telling you to go away and take these trades. We're just simply showing you what we're looking to take on our own accounts. You know, I, I created a video for one of our members this week who's gone for a bit of a, a losing streak. Um, just to kind of give them a bit of encouragement. And in that video, I said, you know, ultimately one of the most important things is that you do your own due diligence. You know, you make your, you, even, you know, someone like myself or whoever it is that you talk to, if they're talking about a particular trade, you don't just go and put it on blindly. That's stupid. It really, really is, you know, from a, you know, definitely from a, a psychological perspective, because if the market starts to go against you, the impact of it is like 10 times as much as if you did the, the analysis yourself. Because at least if you've done the analysis yourself and you understand the idea, you know, if it goes against you, you can kind of write it up and say, well, you know what? It was a good idea. I did all of the right analysis. It's just the markets. It's just the way they are. Whereas if you go and take signals blindly and you just someone says something and you take it, then it stops you out. You know, it is very, very, very um, frustrating. And the impact on your mental state is is significantly more than if you obviously took the trade by yourself. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, um, share the video, post a comment, all of that kind of good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. And here's to a absolutely fantastic 2017 in the FX markets. Take care now.